Brand new month, brand new week, brand new show, and brand new car. It is the A-Class special of sorts today on CNB. I am Siddharth Panayak Patankar, welcome. And we'll start by talking about how the arrival of the A-Class this time around in this new generation is all about the sedan or the limousine as the Germans are calling it. And we've got something special for you. Not only will I introduce you to the new A-Class sedan and its variants, but also this the AMG avatar of the car. So, OMG, and let's get on with the car in Goa. That is the stock sedan. Amea drove it, and we have the full review. The A class of cars have been out of action over the past year. From the hatchback to the SUV and even the sedan. And so, it's finally here. We finally get to see the production model of Mercedes-Benz A-Class sedan, or as the company calls it, the A-Class limousine. And why does it call it a limousine? Because it says that the wheelbase is longer than any of its competitors in the market. Uh, but it does look like a small C-Class, and that's great because that's what the aspiration is for people to buy a car and enter the luxury car segment. So you have these nice signature LED DRLs, you have this nice looking Pan Americana grille, and of course, uh, a nice looking diffuser too. But all of that said, on the profile, it still looks pretty simple. It is not aggressive. It's not what you call uh, in your face kind of design. It's sensual, it's elegant. And that's exactly what Mercedes-Benz India wants to bring to the table, especially for those who are just entering the luxury car market. The tail lamps do add to the overall look of the car. And the design then is progressive. And yes, looks great and in tune with the times. The Mercedes A Limo is the replacement to the CLA. And now, there is more competition for it in the segment. And with an overall length of 4549mm, it does look long. The cabin overall looks spacious, but it's only on the front seats that you get a whiff of how feature-packed this car really is. With the A-Class limousine, you have to understand that Mercedes is adopting the top-to-bottom approach. So whichever features that you have seen in, say, the S-Class, the E-Class or the C-Class will definitely trickle down to this one. That is why you have these massive 10.25-inch displays. One is the infotainment system and one for the digital instrument cluster. So this one is a touchscreen infotainment system. This one, touch does not apply to. Uh, so as you can see, it's a well laid out cabin, nothing different uh, from uh, you know what we've seen earlier. A clean kind of a dashboard and of course the beige and black add to that, ex you know, that, that sense of uh, uh, elegance to it all. Of course the beige will get dirty especially in Indian conditions and a bit uh, worried about that but the seats are extremely supportive you have good under thigh support and you have very good lumbar support as well and then you have this nice uh, sunroof which Mercedes-Benz calls as the panoramic sunroof though it's a bit smaller uh, than a panoramic sunroof of course overall though fit and finish is pretty good and given that this car is going to be made in India that's a pretty, pretty good proposition. Mercedes also has provided voice assistance like Alexa and Google Home, where you can check the status of your car even without getting off the sofa. But clearly, with a car like this, you wouldn't want to just stay put on the sofa and watch the world go by. 
you'd rather do it sitting in the front seat. So this one gets a 1.3 litre four cylinder motor churning out 161 brake horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. And that torque kicks in as low as around 1650 RPM. Well, it, it's good to have that, but the transmission does a lot more because the seven speed dual clutch transmission this one has to offer uh, actually gives every bit of that power to you and to your disposal. And the paddle shifters just take a sec, not even a second, a millisecond to react. And that's why you enjoy driving it. Uh, beyond that, there's a fuel economy figure that Mercedes-Benz has thrown at us and that is 17.1 kilometers to the litre. That is impressive. And that coming from a car doing a 0 to 100 kilometers per hour sprint in just 8.3 seconds. You know what? We really enjoy that balance and we really appreciate that balance because this one is extremely chuckable. What also impresses is that the A-Class limousine will also be available with a 2-litre diesel and even an AMG, all of which will be manufactured at the company's plant in Chakan. Mercedes-Benz is also offering it in six colours and for those who want to spend a little extra sprucing up the car, there's the carbon style package and the urban package, which has a whole bunch of elements added to it. Now, the only competition that the A limousine has in the country is the BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe and it's already available in both petrol and diesel engine options and prices for that start at 40 lakh 90 thousand rupees. Mercedes-Benz of course is looking at an aggressive price tag but given what's on offer, we won't be surprised if the company doesn't undercut its rival. Given that, it's offering an 8-year warranty on the engine and transmission and pushing the boundaries when it comes to features, the A-Class limousine becomes a standout product in that segment. And for me, is the ideal car to introduce you to the world of luxury. Welcome back to CNB. I am now driving the A35 sedan. Yes, this is the more powerful version because it is AMG. You saw the regular sedan in the first part of the show that Amir was driving in Goa, but India also gets this one and we have it for you first. Impressive. That is what you would call not just how this car looks, but also the strategy behind its India debut. It is the second AMG model to be built here in the country. Mercedes-Benz India has been very proactive the last few months, and this is just another example of that. The Mercedes AMG A35 builds on the fourth generation A-Class family, and like that car is available globally in hatch and sedan avatar. In India, we get both as sedan only now. The A35 is the true entry model in the AMG lineup. And while it's not full-blown mental like most AMGs are, it is still pretty racy. An AMG has to look the part and the A35 is certainly different enough from the regular A sedan. I'll tell you how, but before that, I want to quickly make a point. I wish Mercedes-Benz India had gone with like this all black kind of a package. It would have looked more menacing instead of all this chrome garnish and handles to have a black matted out kind of look. Maybe all black wheels too, though I have to say these AMG alloys, they are pretty sharp, pretty good looking. All right, so different bumpers, obviously different diffuser and uh, you've got the tailpipes at the back that are different too. But in the front, the grille is a little bit different because this one has two fins while the regular sedan has just one. It is the AMG grille, so it has the badge. And the overall look as it is on this car is so aggressive. On the A35, it becomes even more so. It's almost ferocious looking. 
Some of that has to do with the hood because what you see is a slightly raised hood for that impression of more power. And it also kind of comes up on the ends to really give extra muscle to an already more muscular fender. That is where that sense of power really comes from visually and makes the A35 different from the regular A-Class sedan. The car does not scream AMG from a mile, but yes, looks plenty aggressive and mean. The multi-beam LED headlights are sexy and the taillight motif is my favorite new element. The A35 turned heads everywhere I drove it and even though its dimensions may seem compact to you now, think back to a C-Class from say 12 or 15 years ago and things were not very different. Honestly, the compact dimensions only add to its sporty character. The A35 is coming in six shades, white, two silvers, black, the grey with me and a denim blue and you can get it in the bright yellow seen at the A-Class sedan Goa press drive on special order. So the A35 isn't your showcase AMG product. In this particular range, you do have the A45 and the A45S. They use the purebred AMG award-winning four-cylinder engine. This engine, well, it's closer to the A250. But I'm not complaining because what this allows is for an AMG product to become more accessible and that's why I think it's a smart strategy played out by the company in bringing this variant to India and then assembling it locally as well. That puts it in a sweet spot on pricing. And you know what? You may not be able to push it as hard as an A45S, but as far as you can push it, it is pretty precise and still a lot of fun. So let's get that point about pricing out of the way, shall we? I reckon that Mercedes-Benz will launch this car at about 58 lakh rupees. Expect just one variant with everything loaded into it. Yes, that is not pocket change. But suddenly, someone considering a fully loaded C-Class sees a compelling bet with an AMG sedan. Yes, that is something to think about. And scoff if you will, I know it's not for everybody. But no AMG is. The car uses an AMG refined four-cylinder motor that comes from the regular A-Class lineup, but only on the A220 and A250. While in India, we are getting the A200 with a smaller 1.3-litre engine. So there is ample separation between the two cars. Even so, the A35's motor makes a whole 80 horses more than the similar engine on the 250. The gearbox is quite nice and quick and even though you miss the growl of an AMG, you still get the quick shifting AMG transmission feel. The standard 4MATIC or 4-wheel drive system does a good job of giving you front wheel bias and yet sending enough traction to the rear wheels. Now the steering and the suspension are not what you'd get on the A45 but they are still a big leap away from the stock A-Class sedan. So you get that sense of agility and sportiness that you're looking for. The uh, sport suspension, the sport seats, they all add to that exciting dynamic feel that the car does represent and present but that steering just should have been a little bit stiffer. This is not a family car and yet will meet the daily driving requirements of many. That adaptive AMG suspension sure helps that cause in everyday conditions, not just in dynamic ones. 
It can also use regular fuel and does not need the pricey high octane stuff. So it is a practical AMG then, dare I say. And while it's most fun in sport or sport plus modes, it remains reasonably frugal when being driven sedately in other modes. The car has a really nice ride quality though and it handles really well too. So in the Indian context again, smart move to bring this one because it's easy to drive. It's easy to convey the sense of performance that you're trying to. Yeah, I think people will like this car. The cabin is plush and well finished. The sporty black theme gets enhanced by the use of sport seats up front with the Dynamica upholstery and the embossed leather steering wheel. The rear is reasonably roomy and legroom is not bad. You get the high-end Burmester sound system, huge touchscreen displays, connectivity, the MBUX interface with virtual assistant and active park assist besides a whole host of other features including everything standard on safety. So I really do look forward to the A35's market debut. I hope it meets with a ton of success so that it spurs more such experiments from not just Mercedes AMG but also the rivals. We showed you the A-Class limousine and we also showed you the Mercedes AMG 35. First time in India, first time entry AMG in India too. The pricing, well, it's going to get a lot of attention because remember, locally made car. You have to react to all of it and tell us what else you'd like to see. You also have to go to our website, carandbike.com slash awards and get those last few votes in because yes, all the action on the awards is all set to unfold. Please wear your seatbelts, please wear your helmets. Join us next week.